I'm feeling real good today. Real good today. Hoping to grab some wins for you guys. Maybe even a winning record in today's video. But today, we are rocking out with a Hatterene Trick Room team for Series 3. If you guys have been watching my content, you guys know that I love Trick Room teams. And I usually play rather well with Trick Room teams. So we got the old school combo. I wouldn't really call it an old school combo. It's more of a Sword and Shield combo of Indeedy Hatterene to get the Trick Room rolling. And just dominating from there. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. I also want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Pokey Sports. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. We'll be linking their channel down in the description below, so definitely go check them out. Show them some jeans love. But indeed, he's going to be our first Pokemon for today's Trick Room team in that top left hand corner with Psychic Surge and the Safety Goggles as item. It's got Dazzle Gleam, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. Just gotta love Ndidi. Ndidi is a top tier support Pokemon on any team. Not just on a Trick Room team, it can really thrive on any team. We got Torkoal rocking it in our number two spot. Can't really have a Trick Room team without the king of Trick Room, which is Torkoal. Drought, Choice Specs as item, Eruption, Heat Wave, Flamethrower, Earth Power. This big one's here just to do big time crazy damage. We got Titar in our third slot if we want to bring in a different Pokemon for weather control. And Titar is just wonderful, especially paired, with, paired up with Ndidi. This Pokemon has the Psychic Seeds to boost his special defense. We got Sandstream as his ability, Rock Slide and Crunch for two stab moves, Terror Blast which changes into Flying, and then Protect for our final move. Iron Hands is going to be our fourth Pokemon and another great Pokemon in the Trick Room and at setting up the Trick Room because it does have Fake Out. But actually, this one's not running it. I just looked over to the side and it is a Swords Dance Iron Hands. And I actually really like this move set on it. Sword Sand, Strain Punch, Thunder Punch, Protect. In the Trick Room, this Pokemon is absolutely thriving. It's got Cork Drive and the Booster Energy as its item. We got Hatterene in our fifth slot, and I love Hatterene for setting up Trick Room. It is great typing with it, and it is very, very strong once it's in the Trick Room because it's very slow, and its special attack is very high. It has Magic Bounce, the Life Orb as item, Rock and Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, Protect, and Trick Room. Chiyu is going to be our final Pokemon, pairing him up with Torkoal or Hatterene, make them do crazy amount of damage because of its Beads of Ruin ability. It's got Charcoal as its item to boost fire damage, and it's got Heat Wave, Snarl for special attack drops, Dark Pulse for Stab, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, let's grab some wins with this Hatterene Series 3 Trick Room team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a Quillfish team? It's not really just a Quillfish team, but I see Quillfish as the first Pokemon. That is very, very weird, because it's one of those Pokemon that you never see on the ranked ladder. They have Shen Pao Dragonite and Shen Pao King Gambit. Two combos that are really, really strong. They also have Fluttermane, and they also are rocking for Rigograph. Rigograph is really, really good when she is on the field, so I gotta watch out for that. But who are they gonna lead? Who do I think they're possibly going to lead? I think I'm just gonna go Iron Hands here. And maybe, mm, do I go Iron Hands? Because I could go into more so like a Dark type Pokemon. Mm, do I want to do that? Actually, no, I don't want to go into a Dark type Pokemon. I could, actually, I like Iron Hands here because I can always Thrasize them if I want. I'm going to go Iron Hands. And I'm thinking of either Hatterene or Ndidi. One of these Pokemon is set the trick. And I might just go Ndidi just so we can protect Pokemon and set that surge so first turn priority is not a thing. Yeah, I really like that. So I'm going to go Ndidi. I'm going to go Iron Hands. And then we're going to roll out with... Well, I really like Chiyu, but I think we're just going to go Trick Room Squad, right? I think we're just going to go Hatterene Torkoal. Makes the most sense. Or I can go Hatterene and have Chiyu as a back-end Pokemon. Because what's your speed, Chiyu? I got 10 seconds to pick, but I got to see your speed. 94, you're rather slower. You are rather slower. I'm going to go Chiyu. I am going to go Chiyu here. I do like Chiyu's speed. I do like Chiyu's speed here. Even though Torkoal is absolutely amazing, especially in Trick Room, I want to showcase Hatterene, and I think Chiyu, bringing Chiyu is going to be pretty solid for us, so... Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Hopefully set up the Trick Room. And, and I want to kind of try to set up a, what's it called as well? A Swords Dance. That's obviously Swords Dance, Iron Hands. Ridiculous. Dragonite Shen Pao come out here. No first turn priority for you. None of it. None of it. We're not dealing with it. We're not dealing with it. We are not dealing with it. So from here, I think I might just Terrasalize. I might just Terrasalize Ndidi. I might just do that because I don't really want to take some big time dark damage, right? Could be scary. I could set up a Sword Dance here if I want to. Do I set up the Sword Dance? I might just Strain Punch this thing. I'm just gonna go Sword Dance here. I'm gonna go Trick Room. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Trick Room this. Trick Room and going into a Sword Dance. Shen Pao might protect, but this was a great lead for us getting Ndidi out onto the field. 
And actually, why didn't I terrestrialize my DD? I didn't even think about that. And I really wanted to. I just kind of skipped it. I was thinking too much. That kind of hurts. This is going to be Ghost Pal. Luckily, we didn't drink punch into it. But that... Oh my god, we might just screw ourselves over here. I wanted to terrestrialize in DD, and I even said that. I even said that. And, okay, we live on one. And, okay, cool. This actually works out perfectly. We live on one. I don't know how... And, oh my lord, you just... What just happened? Okay, we'll deal with this. We'll, we'll deal with this now. Okay. What just happened? Luckily, we survived on one. That was ridiculous. That was just absurd right there. That was absurd. That was very absurd. That was wild, to be honest. But I'm just going to go into Chiyu here. I'm just going to go into Chiyu, I guess, right now. And that was... That was just... That was just absurd. It really was. It really was just absurd. <laughs> How much damage we just took there. And I want to see uh, speeds real quick. Indeedy, what's your speed? It's going to be 81. So you're going to go first here, and she's going to go second, which actually works out pretty good for us. Because I could go for a heat wave if I want to. I could go for snarl. I do have to charcoal. I kind of like just going for... Hmm. Snarl's not bad, but I think we just go for the heat wave. Actually, snarl. I want to make sure we get the KO. I'm just going to go into a snarl here, and I'm just going to gleam. I'm just gonna lean, but wow, dude, the damage from them. The stopping tantrum really just KO'd me like that. So he ends up dropping a nice little protect. He might take out Indeedee, which I don't mind. As long as Indeedee gets off this gleam. Because we have tricked him for a couple of times, and I feel like my Hatterene and my Chiyu can get some work done. But I'm guessing that's multi scale right there. The multi scale is gonna help him, uh, help him out a little bit. So out comes the Snarl. One Gleam should be able to finish that off. Special Attack Drop comes out here, but it is physical attacking. And Stop Attack is flying here again. This thing's Choice Band. It's got to be Choice Band, right? Wow. <laughs> We're getting ripped. We get ripped, but I still feel as we can win this match, right? I definitely still feel as we can win this match. Hatterene's out here. What is your Terror type? I think it was Fairy, right? Which I kind of wanted to be, right? What is your type? It is Straight Fairy, which we're going to go into. We're going to Terrasalize Fairy, and we're just going to double down. Because Shen Pao could definitely be focused last year. Oh my lord, yo. Dude, this Dragonite is ripping. Absolutely ripping me. Absolutely ripping me. For no reason. Not cool. Not cool at all. I was very surprised to see a KO my Iron Hands in one shot. I get the defenses down, but still. Non-stab stopping cantrip coming out from Dragonite. <laughs> really KO me like that? Little whack, right? Little, little odd. You don't see that every day. Don't see that too often. But we're going to Terrasalize. We still have a few turns left in Trick Room, so we're going to try to play this one out. Because everyone knows this Hattering can do some big time damage. So Dragonite might protect here. It might not. If it doesn't, it's dead. But we're hoping we can get rid of the Shen Pao here before it can get off an attack. Gleam's going to fly. How much damage are we doing here? Dragonite's obviously dead. See you later, Dragonite. Get it on out of here. And Shen Pao will die out to this. Awesome. We had a crit on the dragon like that. It, it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. But Shen Pao's gonna focus Ash up. I think we have like one or two. I think we have two turns left in Trick Room after this. I think we have two. I'm gonna lose some HP because I am Life Orb. That's the gonna fly. We are going to take out Shen Pao. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Like I said, this match isn't over yet. Match is not over yet. Can Hatterene get, get the big time clutches for us? I love Hatterene's design. I think it's really cool. Very terror. I like it on it. The quillfish comes out here. I don't. I don't like this. I don't really like you, quillfish. Quillfish comes out here and flutter, flutter, intimidate, intimidate on the quillfish. I don't know quillfish's speed. I know it learned swift swim. How many turns is left in trick? Two. I can get down with two. I can get down with two. What I'm thinking is just dropping quillfish and. Maybe just throwing a gleam, right? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take out the quillfish here. Well, this should take out the quillfish, right? It does. Cool. And then getting off some gleam damage, because I think this uh, this Flutterman goes for a gleam, right? I think the Flutterman goes for a gleam and tries to get off as much damage as it possibly can. The gleam's chipping up damage, and here comes the gleam from him. Which, ah, oh, dude, I think we lose this one. I think we do lose this one, which kind of hurts the soul. Because Hatterene almost had the comeback here. Obviously, we want to rock into a Gleam here. Um, hopefully, they don't have Protect. 
they don't. They're not protecting. Because I was going to say, I think they just protect and win this match. But can we KO? We do. And let's go. Let's go. Had a read? Had a read getting all four kills? Pretty much. Pretty much. Indeed, he killed the Champau. But had a read with the clutch in match number one. you love to see it. How about that Hatterene in match number one? Absolutely ripped it for us and clutched up that first match. Gotta love it. But we're hopping into our second match going up against another Shen Pao and Dragonite team with Fluttermane, Ting Lu, and then a nice lovely weather combo of snow with Obama Snow and Deli Deli Bird. So I kind of want to go into that same lead. I really do like that lead. I mean, indeed, he's going to be powerful here. So I want to lead it regardless just to get rid of first turn priority. So I am going to go in DD and do I go in with Iron Hands or Hatterene? I mean, one of them could pop Shuriken pretty well for us, and I kind of like that, right? But Iron Hands could be a beast if we could set up a Sword Hands to just start getting after Pokemon. I really like Iron Hands. I do like Iron Hands. I do like Iron Hands. But Hatterene just Hatterene. We definitely bring it in Hatterene, but I don't know if we should lead Hatterene. I might just lead it and try to force a shot onto it, right? And protect it. It's a possibility. It definitely is a possibility. But our problem here... Ting Lu could be a problem if they end up bringing out Ting Lu. Be a little bit of an issue. But so I'm gonna go Iron Hands here. Actually, no, I'm gonna go Hatterene. I'm gonna go Hatterene. So we're gonna go Hatterene. If they wanna bring in Ting Lu, that's fine. We're gonna bring Iron Hands into back end and then either Chi Yu or a Weather Pokemon. And I think a Weather Pokemon is more in our favor. Some someone more like Torkoal, right? Especially Torkoal and Trick Room. God dang. God dang. Torkoal and Trick Room. Good game. Good game. No problem. Maybe we should have brought T-Tar because I do like T-Tar up against a few of these guys. But they have a few Pokemon that are super effective on the T-Tar, right? Like Secret Sword with the Shen Pao. They got Fluttermane. They got Water and Grass Pokemon with the Deli Bird and the, the Obama Snow. It's just a lot. It's just a lot for T-Tar to handle. So Plus, they have a Ground Pokemon with uh, Ting Lu. It's a lot for T-Tar to handle. A little bit too much. But Shen Pao and Dragonite come out here. I do not mind this. Um, we could Terrasize and Needy here, which might have to be a play. Or well, I could just protect Ndidi and pop a trick with Hatterene. That is a possibility. Because you could Terra Straight in a Fairy. You do not have Protect. Um, I might just follow me let this thing die out. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to pop a trick with you. Follow me, trick him all day. If you want to take out my Ndidi, you can take out my Ndidi. That just brings out more turns for a better Pokemon, such as like Torkoal to get out here and start throwing some mean eruptions out here. Mean eruptions. I would terrestrialize Torkoal if I get him out here. Or I could just bring out Iron Hands and have, you know, Indeedy doing a lot of work. Or not Indeedy, Hatterene doing a lot of work. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to hard swap into dun -dun -la. Ting Lu comes out here. So maybe we might have to bring out our Iron Hands, which I don't mind. Follow me comes out here. Please show me a crunch or a throat chop. Something along those lines where you just KO my Indeedy. My Indeedy. And Ice Spear. Come on, that's, that, that's not what I was looking for. That's not what I was looking for. So I can follow me this next shot, too. Oh, you take out my terrain. How dare you? Not cool. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. Do not like that. Do not like that. Uh. Hmm. Don't want a helping hand the shot. I think indeed he dies regardless. I think someone targets me down. But he might just go into like a... I don't know. But I'm just going to do this, right? I'm just going to throw this out. Gonna helping hand gleam, get off as much damage as I can. Hopefully, helping hand can neglect some damage. But the ice spinner, I forgot it takes out my terrain. Maybe I should have swapped the DD. Maybe I should have. I probably should have. If, if indeed he survives this turn, I'm gonna swap it. I really would like to have indeed back for another turn. But we're kind of hoping a sucker punch comes out here, to be honest with you guys. Into my indeed slot. So we block it. But Ting Lu is going to try Is that a poison Ting Lu? A straight ground Tinglu, ready for some damage. I feel like this thing's going for Fishers. I don't know why. Fishers scare me. Helping Hand comes out here. We're doing our little clap skis. And Sucker Punch comes out into Hatterene, which does a nice chunk of damage. We were kind of hoping it was the other way. But Gleam's going to fly. Ring out Focus Ash onto, onto you. And then we'll just go from there. And what are you going for, Tinglu? You going after? You're going for a straight EQ, so you're just gonna KO your boy. And does indeed he soak that? None of them do. Okay, so everyone dies out here. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We get off Shen. We get Shen Pao off the floor, but now Dragonite come back out here. Now I get Torkoal. Ground is scary with Torkoal, right? Ground is definitely scary. 
But still, I can erupt and try to get off as much damage as I possibly can. But we got these two guys. Place it on the left. Place it on the right. Uh, okay. This one's actually a lot tougher than I thought it would be. This thing was really doing me dirty. Iron Hands out here. I definitely want to Thrasilize and Erupt. Unless Dragonite comes out here. We might have to Heat Wave. And it is going to be Dragonite. It is going to be Dragonite. So we might not want to Thrasilize here. I might want to Thrasilize my... My Iron Hands. Which I'm thinking I want to do. Or I would rather do, right? I kind of want to Sword Dance. I kind of want to Sword Dance. And I'm thinking I just want to Heat Wave in case first time priority comes towards me. Maybe look for a burn on Tinglu, which could be good. That's exactly what we're going to do. Try to take off multi-scale. But we're going to need uh, Iron Hands to clutch up. He ends up withdrawing the Tinglu, which is very, very weird. That's a weird, that's a weird swap. Maybe he thought I was faking it out. Yeah, it seems like he thought I was faking it out. When I'm just going for a lovely little Sword Dance here. Lovely little Sword Dance. E-Speed coming out here. Terrasalize. No, he can't Terrasalize anymore, but that's my Terrasalize. I think an E-Speed might come out. We go straight grass. We're all about that grass, baby. And this sword stance could be huge for us. Could be big, big for us. Because we still have a few more. We should have, I think, two after this. Turns off in trick room. Which could be lovely. There's the E-Speed. That's exactly why I want to go into a heat wave. And of course, you get a crit. Just what I wanted. A crit. It actually takes off multi-scale itself. And we get rid of Fluttermane. Oh, baby. Crit on Fluttermane. So now we get off a free sword stance. Drain punches can start flying. Um... We are choice spec into a heat. We opt to go for a Sword Sense. This is why I love this moveset. Sword Sense is so good. And I think this Pokemon, no, he's Life Orb. I was going to say, is he choiced into E Speed? But no, he's Life Orb. A little bit of an orb action on this guy. He's going to bring back out the Ting Loot. And I'm, I'm super surprised at that swap. Really swap. I would have just taken that, taken that fake out, right? Um, And who do I get rid of here? Do I get rid of Dragonite? Potentially, right? Or do I just try to get back some HP? So how many turns is left in Trick Room? It's going to peak. Two. That's big time turns. That's big time turns. And I'm thinking I really just want to get rid of you. So I'm going to Thunder Punch into that. I'm just going to Heat Wave across the board. Look for a little bit of a burn. We are choice spec into Heat Wave, so it's our only option. And that's why I choice into it. I thought E-Speed was coming out here. Plus, if we take damage, Eruption is not that good. But he opts to protect the Dragonite. That kind of hurts. Can you protect the Ting Lu as well? You do not. Can we get a burn on Ting Lu? That'd be the that'd be the prettiest sight we have. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Show it to me. No burn. No burn. Ah, man. Okay. It's a ru you opt to ruin nation. That's a little weird, right? A little odd. That's definitely a little odd. To go for the ruination. Now I just thunder punch you and I get after you. And then throw another heat wave. E speed comes out. We're able to soak that. This is going to be close, Mash, because this is going to be real close. Give me a burn. I need a burn. No burn comes out here. Thunder Punch is flying. Um, okay. Because we know we can EQ and probably... Actually, EQ probably not going to take me out. Well, the next one will. And EQ comes out here. Takes out... Yeah, it doesn't take on my Iron Hands. This is crazy. <laughs> this is a crazy match. This is a crazy match. And this... I don't know if... A lot of Ting lose on Protect, but goes back to normal hmm trick room gone man no shot come on we need one more turn here one more turn I guess we'll go for drain punch he's gonna go for EQ yep there it is game set match what a second match really came down to the wire I thought we were gonna prevail on that one but hey we're one on one for today's video let's hop into our third and final match and look for that winning record Final match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves this winning record. Going up against a Wu Shen and Glamour team. Very, very annoying, but very strong team. They also have Parish Song with uh, Gothitelle, Palafin, who is top tier, Arcanine, Intimidate, and Golden Go. How should I play this one? How should I get after Trick Room? Obviously, we have to pop it. It's going to be our friend here. But who should I lead with our Trick Room center? So it's going to be either Indeedy, Hatterene for the lead, or even both. I don't mind both. Palafin could come in here. I do... I don't think we need Indeedy here, right? I don't think we need Indeedy. Hatterene, we could go. But if Glamour is the lead, that's a little bit of a problem. Because he can just go into the Sludge Bomb if he has it, right? Sludge Bomb's a problem. Sludge Bomb's a problem. Hmm. I'm going to go Indeedy and Hatterene here. 
That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Ndidi Hatterene. Trying to start getting after it. And then I'm going to bring Torkoal in the back end alongside with Chi. We're going straight firepower. Straight firepower. We're not playing around here. We are not playing around. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. The only Pokemon that we haven't used in today's video is Titar. But Titar, I think, is very situational, right? Especially with this team right here. This team really thrives around Trick Room. So having Titar in here, there's just a few better options when going into Trick Room. Like, I'd rather have a Torkoal on the field in Trick Room. That thing absolutely rips. So let's see who our opponent ends up leading. Please don't be Wo Chen and Glamora. Go on the go and pal. I can deal with that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I mean, make it rain. A little scary. Definitely a little scary. Definitely a little scary. So I think from here we just go into. You know, slowly protect. And then we just follow. Oh, no, 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 no. We go for trick. <laughs> it was hit. Follow me. I would have been so upset. I've been so upset. So Palafin's probably gonna swap here. I think maybe Golden Go might terrestrialize. Or just go for a straight make it rain. I wish we had Shadow Ball here. Make it rain's an issue. There's the make it rain. So that's exactly why I protect the Hatterene. The Palafin didn't swap here. Palafin didn't swap. Can you go after Hatterene? Just keep my Ndidi alive. Yeah, you do go for Wave Crash in the Hatterene. That's big time. We like that. We like that. We like that. So now we get off the trick room. Um, it range is such a problem, right? Do we let both these Pokemon go down? I mean, it's so tough. Golden goes a problem. I really don't want to waste Terra. So I'm just going to Psychic into that slot. I think Arcanine might even get the swap. I'm just going to Psychic into the Palafin slot. And I mean, follow me's not going to do anything because make it range is going to come out here. And to make it rain age coming out here, we might as well just help a hand. Right? We, we gotta let these Pokemon go down. We gotta, we gotta let them go down. Because make it rain is just gonna do too much to us. We'll, we'll finish the, this thing off next turn. So Arcanine is gonna be a swap Pokemon. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. I do not mind that. Not one bit. Because if both these Pokemon die out to just make it rain, I'm, I'm very cool with that. Because then I bring out the Fire Squad. How much damage are you doing here? See you later, Arcanine. I'll take that all day. We get off Trick Room. We pick up a KO for the cherry on top. You can, you can now have both my Pokemon with this Make It Rain. You can have them. That's fine. That is fine. Because now I bring out the Fire Squad. The Fire Squad. Chiyu, Torkoal. We're ripping Heat Waves. We're ripping big time damage. We're getting after it. We are getting after it. I think I, I got to Terrasalize Torkoal here. Three, four turns left in Trick Room. I think it's three. Powerhouse. An absolute menace. We got to go into Heat Wave because if Palafin comes back out here, it's going to be a what's it called. Yeah, it's going to be Jet Punching. But out comes Pally Pally. From here, we are just going to Heat Wave and we're going to double down in Palafin here. Luckily, we have the Heat so our Pokemon can actually eat up a shot. So I'm going to Thrasslash you. More damage than Merrier, right? And I'm just going to rip Dark Pulse. Need to get rid of Palafin here. Need to get rid of him. We know the Jet Punch is flying. We know that the Jet Punch is going to be flying. He might even swap Palafin. Like, Palafin, the Heat neglects a lot of that damage. So, that's really good for us. I don't, I don't think he can one-shot any of us. He doesn't have a Shen Pal. I wonder who his final Pokemon is. Potentially Wo Shen, right? And if that doesn't have a good Terra type, we can rip into that. Because it is Grass type. It is a Grass type Pokemon. A lot of them have Poison type, which is phenomenal for them. But out comes my Terra. They still have Terra as well, but I think usually Golden Goes are Steel and Palafins is just straight water. But Golden Goes minus two on special attack, which is it's good for us. And now comes Terra. You're going to Terra Water and go for Jet Punch here? Is that the play? Nope, Golden Goes going to Terra. Golden Go is going to Terra Water. Okay. I feel you, and I'm not too scared of you, right? I'm not too scared of you. Heat Wave's going to fly first. No Jet Punch coming out here. So if no Jet Punch is here, we should be able to get rid of Palafin. And oh my god, Torkoal's chill. Chill. See you later, Palafin. Big time KO right there with Palafin. So we have a minus two Golden Go here. He's going for another Make It Rain, which we soak very, very well. Now he's minus three. I think he's choice spec. I think he's definitely choice. 
Because I wouldn't use, I, I would not use Maker Marine there. Out comes Wood Chen. You just wasted your Terra Chance for that Pokemon. So that's so big for us. Heat Wave KO, the Golden Go, no problem. And we're just going to double down. We are just going to double down here. Two Heat Waves in the Sun, two Fire type Pokemon. Wood Chen's going to protect. We just need one of these Heat Waves land. One of these will KO the Golden Go. Make it happen, Torkoal. Yep, Torkoal's gonna say bye bye, Golden Go. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I did not mind Hatterene and Indeedy dying because once we bring out this squad in the trick room, it's night night. It is night night. And luckily, we were able to pick up the KO on the Arcanine. That was actually big for us. Like I said, Cherry on top, Arcanine KO. We helping hand hit that thing with a psychic, but Hatterene was definitely MVP today's video. Absolutely ripped, was doing crazy damage left and right. And you just you just saw the power of that thing with the DD. But no, last Pokemon doesn't have Terra. We're just gonna double down with Heat Waves. Torkoal ends up missing his Heat Wave. That kinda that kinda hurts. Kinda hurts a little bit. And you start Leech Seeding me. I mean, I'm not, I'm still not worried. I'm still not worried about the whole Leech Seed thing. This should do a lot of damage too. Yeah, okay, your Leech Seed was nothing. <laughs> you didn't even seed me once. You didn't even take any of my HP. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 winning record with this amazing Hatterene Tricker team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record on the channel and another winning record with the Trick Room team. I'm always rocking out with Trick Room teams. Always grabbing winning records, always grabbing perfect records. Today's was a winning record, but I absolutely love this team for Series 3. You got Chiyu as your only Legend Pokemon, and the rest really just thrive on the Trick Room. Indeed, he had to make it easy to set up the Trick Room. Then you got Titar, Iron Hands, and Torkoal to play around with, depending on who you're versing, to bring in in the back end to grab you guys the wins. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.